65 million years ago, a mountain-sized asteroid crashed into the Earth in what is now the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, with a major chunk of the asteroid landing in Uganda. The impact and resulting ecological catastrophe is known as the Cretaceous Paleogene Extinction Event. In the present day, wealthy industrialist John Greystoke has been funding an expedity on into the jungles of East Africa to locate the meteor, now a legend, and harness its unique energy. Despite the best efforts by scientist and adventurer James Potter, the expedition is a failure, and D. John is preparing to leave Africa with his wife, Alice, and their son, John J.R. Not far away, a rogue gorilla, Tablat, comes across a troop of his fellow gorillas, led by a silverback male named Kachek. In a fight for dominance, Kachek defeats the rogue and begins to return to his mate, Kala, and their newborn child, only for Tablat to deal him a fatal blow. Kala and the others can only look on in horror. On a course that takes them over a semi-active volcano, the Greystoke's helicopter's instruments begin to go haywire. As the pilot struggles to regain control, they find themselves over the resting site of the meteor. Landing to investigate, John explores a cave that leads him into the heart of the mountain, where he discovers rock formations that glow with a pulsing red light. Using his pickaxe, John attempts to collect a sample for study, only to cause a chain reaction that awakens the nearby volcano. Despite their best efforts to escape, the helicopter crashes, and only John Jr. survives. The boy is discovered by Kala, who has recently lost her child to Tablat's regime. She takes him back to her nest. Johnny is adopted into the troop and discards his former identity, choosing to be called Tarzan. A name he made up meaning, it with no fur. As time passes, Tarzan grows up learning the ways of the jungle animals. One day, after venturing further than his friends are willing to go, Tarzan catches sight of a group of humans in a jeep. In the years since the Greystoke's disappearance, Dr. James Potter has continued to fund his expeditions by acting as a jungle guide for wealthy tourists. On this particular trip, he is joined by his daughter Jane Potter. During a routine photographic safari, one of the Potter's latest clients wanders away from the group, and witty. NGLY attracting the attention of a large, dinosaur-like flightless bird. Jane saves him by luring the bird toward her but it begins chasing her, along with some of its friends. Jane manages to escape with Tarzan's help only to be bitten on the arm by a viper. Tarzan, infatuated with the young woman, carries her to a shelter, caring for and watching over her all night. The next day, Jane stumbles back into her father's camp with only vague memories of the night before. Jane chalks most of her rescue up to a bad dream. Still, as she and her father drive away, Jane whispers a goodbye to her res. Cure and leaves one of her bandages behind. Tarzan picks it up and carries it back home. Confused and frustrated by exposure to humans after so long, Tarzan ignores the company of Kala and his Goril. A friends and leaves the troops' territory. Eventually he wanders to the site of the helicopter crash, where long-forgotten memories come flooding back to him. Tarzan finds a meteor stone which his father had taken as a sample. Tarzan builds a shelter around the crash and makes it his retreat, gathering anything interesting he can find it from the wreck, including his father's hunting knife. Years later, Tarzan, now a man, returns to his retreat to find Tiblat nosing around. Tarzan chases the silverback away. Unbeknownst to Tarzan, during his rummaging, Tiblat activated the helicopter's emergency beacon. The transmission is received by Greystoke Energies. William Clayton, CEO of the company since John and Alice's disappearance, knowing what his former employer was looking for, sees only a chance to make money. When the office is visited by Jane Potter, who now works for a conservation group, Clayton manipulates her, promising to fund her group if she will accompany him and his assistant to Africa to speak with her father. Only in Africa is Clayton's true nature is revealed. 
Disgusted by his callousness, Jani leaves the party and wanders into the jungle where Tarzan immediately finds her. Astounded by seeing her rescuer after so long, Jani travels with Tarzan, who brings her to his refuge. Tarzan, as a mark of love, chips off a piece of the meteor rock and gives it to Jani, who realizes the meteor's significance. When the rest of the group tracks Jani down to Tarzan's hideaway, Clayton is shocked to find the grey stoke air alive, and thus a threat to his power. Clayton opens fire on Tarzan and Jani, casing them to flee. Tarzan and Jani are forced to enter a mysterious valley, which has come under the effects of the meteor's unique energies, causing bizarre mutations in the local flora and fauna. Ordinary jungle plants become dangerous predatory monsters. After defeating one of these beasts to save Jani, Tarzan and Jani find their way into the heart of the meteor itself. Here, Tarzan discovers his father's long-abandoned pickaxe, and utters a single word, Greystoke. Jani realizes Tarzan's true identity is John and Alice Greystoke's son. She asks how Tarzan has survived alone in the jungle for so long, to which the wild man replies that his family took care of him. Meanwhile, Kala continues to worry over her son. One of Tarzan's friends alerts her to Tarzan's homecoming and the fact he has apparently taken a mate during his time away. Tarzan introduces Jani to Kala, who is overjoyed at her son's choice in a female. The happy reunion is cut short by Tiblat, who is enraged at Tarzan's return. Tarzan challenges him for the right to lead, and willingly forgoes his knife. At first, Tiblat dominates the fight, but Tarzan brings Tiblat down. Tarzan spares Tiblat's life but exiles him from the troop. His longtime enemy defeated, Tarzan ascends to the high rocks overlooking the nesting grounds and beats his chest, letting out a loud, long cry of victory, the famous ape man cry. That night, under the stars, Jani and Tarzan admit to their love. Jani and Tarzan discover that DR James Potter's base camp has been transformed into a virtual armed base. By an army of mercenaries Clayton has brought. Jani realizes that her father will not stop unless he finds her, endangering Tarzan and the gorilla family's entire home. She decides to head back. Clayton on sees Jani returning to the camp and notices the meteor Tarzan gave her. Tarzan watches the events unfold from a distance and shows up, when Clayton and his men hold Jane at gunpoint. Kala, who followed Jane and Tarzan, runs in to protect them, and gets shot by Clayton, falling unconscious. Tarzan is attacked from behind and locked in a cage. Luckily, Tarzan's guerrilla friends locate him and free him. Tarzan moves Kala into the jungle, where he treats her wound. Tarzan, now determined to put an end to Clayton's discovery, reaches the mountain where the meteor is hidden. Clayton, meanwhile has moved all his resources up the mountain and has rigged the place with explosives, not realizing that the resulting chain reaction could cause another mass extinction. Jani and Dr. James Potter are tied up and left to die. Tarzan rescues Jani and her father, who decides to stay behind and cut the wires leading from the detonator to the explosives. As Jani and Tarzan exit the cave, Clayton holds them at gunpoint. Tarzan summons his jungle friends with a loud cry. In the ensuing battle, the meteor awakens the nearby volcano and the mountain begins to give way. Jani and Tarzan escape, but Clayton and his crew aren't as fortunate. Jani and Tarzan return to the nesting ground and reunite with the family, relieved to see that Kala is safe. Tarzan and Jani then vow before the troop to protect their jungle home. At the end dr. James Potter is seen climbing up a cliff with a piece of the meteor, now in better hands than it would have been if it ended up in Clayton's.